Comes in, Chris Glick, Jury, trying to run McGrath. Well, they've actually got a touch with a hand there, but on he goes, and this is a real chance. A goal for Lineker. Heads out. Right, getting the better of Staunton and powering over the cross. Oh, an own goal, Sean Teal. It was a glorious ball in from Andy Gray, and all Teal could do was deflect it past his own goalkeeper. 2 0 to Tottenham, and they're very good value for it. in by York. Oh, it's terrific play from Dwight York. Regis again, and uh, knocked in by Richardson. 2-1. So Aston Villa have a say. Spurs uh, rather wrapped over the knuckles here. York made it all happen. Regis got free at the far post, and Richardson did the rest. Takes the free kick. You're on. It's only 2 2 it is. Ian Walker came for it, didn't get there. Villa and their supporters who've had some struggles on their travels can't believe what they're seeing here. This is a feast. Regis. Wrong-footed Mabbott. York is there, and Aston Villa, who were 2-0 down, lead by three goals to two. But Regis played a major role after York had got the ball to him in the first place. That touch there got the better of Mabbott. Although uh, he caught up with Regis, the ball ran on across Walker from York, and this extraordinary game takes another twist. Naeem. Reacted quickly when the ball bounced back to him and Walsh. It's a penalty. McGrath is left completely disillusioned by the decision. Gary Lineker scored from a penalty here against West Ham in midweek. put that penalty to the goalkeeper's right. It goes the same way, and Spink had obviously been aware of that. Lineker fails, Villa still lead. Daly. Oh, he's through them all. Daly! It's been a day when Aston Villa have accepted with alacrity every opportunity. And the substitute steps out of the shadows here with a superb solo run, crowned by an unstoppable shot. Ron Atkinson can be proud of his team today. There had to be a day when weakness and the failing in front of goal was put right. Anybody who's played the game knows that sometimes it does go right for you. And this has been one of those days for Aston Villa. Regis holding off Bergson. The cherry on the icing on the cake. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Aston Villa 5. Spurs have crumbled as Villa have got stronger and stronger. Eleven minutes gone and Manchester City's first corner delivered by Mark Brennan. In towards the head and in the back of the net it goes from Andy Hill. 
How many times this season has Andy Hill arrived at the right time? And the man from Leeds is the man who's put Leeds one down. Brennan's corner, Hill's time jump. Just over half an hour, City still holding on to the one-goal lead. Here's McMahon. Andy Hill. Shearer. Simpson. White. Tidy little move this from Manchester City. McMahon forward. Sheeran on side. And Sheeran has put Manchester City too clear. Lovely exchange of passes. The telling ball from McMahon. And bravely, Sheeran went in ahead of Lukic. And City are two up. Tony Dorigo bringing in Gary Speed, urged on by the Leeds fans. He's got Mark Brennan for company and Steve McMahon, and McMahon brings it away for Manchester City. Men to his right and his left, chooses Mike Sheeran. Brings in Niall Quinn. That's Chris White with him. Showing good skill, what a chip and what a goal! Niall Quinn, who says all he can do is head a ball. He saw what was on and chose the most delightful of chips. And if you think how tall John Lukic is, you can work out what a good goal that is. Mark Brennan, Mark Brennan. Kiko. Andy Hill. Strachan just inside him, cutting out the danger, trying to at least. Sheeran. McMahon. And onside is Mark Brennan. Closing in on goal. And scoring. 4 0. And Mark Brennan has put the seal on an extraordinary afternoon for Manchester City. McMahon once again with the ball forward. Brennan on side. Acres of space, acres of time. And it's 4-0. Looking for someone to run ahead of him, and that's a delightful pass for John Sheridan, who's got support on his right from Carlton Palmer, edge of the area. The ball cut back, and here's Williams. Good goal, Paul Williams sliding it into the corner. So, Wilson's corner kick, and he'll be looking here for the head of uh, Peter Shirtley, who's got it well. Hurst! 2 0. And predictably, David Hurst on the mark again. And it breaks to Campbell. That's the inspiration we've been looking for, yep. and Kevin Campbell has provided it. Good, persistent yeah, play here. It, it was. If you don't get in those positions, as we always say, you don't get. And he's got in the position, and it's there. Hesitation here. Oh, chance! And it's in. Oh, Coleman just got the touch. Humphrey with the cross. And this ball in. Well, causing a few anxious moments there. Penalty it is. Oh, beautifully taken. Superb finish by Bright. Bishop. That was a good ball by Burley. Picking out Stewart. Stewart now. Wise. Oh, mistake by Potts. Masso. Stewart. And Wise scores for Chelsea. It was all rather frenetic. But Dennis Wise popped up on the back post to give his side the lead. Benny calling for the ball, and he has it too. Oh, that's a great goal for West Ham United.
scored by Clive Allen, returning to Stamford Bridge. Crosses by Clark. Cascarino! And West Ham's problems at the foot of the table continue. the header. Always oh, found Shearer. It's danger here. Oh, he's got it. It's a penalty. Shearer has the chance now. Put away most emphatically and it's 2-1 to Southampton. Oldham's miserable away form continues. Sheffield United in front on 22 minutes. Dean holding the ball up. A Hodges shot blocked and Dane Whitehouse picking his spot. United in the middle of their customary end-of-season run. It's now one defeat in seven games for them. The win clinched by Ian Bryson, with a little help from the Oldham defence. How many times can Luton defy gravity? They seem to be doing it again this season, although it didn't look too clever after six minutes. You really can't give John Fashionu this sort of room. <laughs> Number 18 of the season for him. 20 minutes later, Mark Pembridge got his throw right into the Wimbledon box. Half had knocked it on, and there was Imre Varadi on loan from Leeds United with the equaliser. And Luton, as we well know, are nothing if not resilient. When Chris Kamara's chip into the box eluded everyone except David Priest, there was the winner. Nothing and Sagers could do.